my booktube. So I don't know if it's 2020 or what, but I've been in such a reading slump. But this book brought me out. You know how you read a book and it feels like an absolute treat where the world building and voice and everything is so unique and refreshing that you want to tell everyone about it? Well, this is it. This is Legendborn by Tracy Dion and it comes out on September 15th. Go pre-order it or ask your library to carry it. It's been getting rave reviews for good and justified reasons. It's totally worth it. Legendborn is based off of the King Arthur legend. Now, I was never a King Arthur lover or I wasn't ever obsessed with King Arthur. I do love folklore and fairy tales and legends and myths and everything like that, but King Arthur was never one that I gravitated towards. So this was a cool story for me because I would not call myself an King Arthur stan. But again, I love these sort of retellings and how to bring it to today. Legendborn combines black girl magic, secret societies, in history, which are three things I love. I love history. I find secret societies to be fascinating and black girl magic, of course, we always need more stories where black girls have a voice and are the hero's other story or heroine's other story. So after her mother dies, Brie wants to forget about her past life and try to create a new identity for herself. So she's 16 and she enrolls into early college. On her first night there, she witnesses a magical attack. A Merlin, who's a wizard, is supposedly wiped her memory of it, but she uncovers it along with a memory of that same type of wizard being there when her mother died. The way to figure out what happened to her mother and for her to figure out why magic is now something that she sees. So she decides to infiltrate the secret society of Legendborn and they're the descendants of King Arthur and his knights. So when these Legendborn show that there's a magical war coming, Brie has to decide if she's going to take the society down or if she's going to join in the fight and how far she will go to find the truth about her mother and her background. What I thought was so great about this book was how refreshing it was. You have so much history and U.S. history that's weaved into this story to create a believable magical system and that's what I thought was so clever about it because I mean U.S. history is not a beautiful thing in so many parts. There are so many dark spots and Tracy Dion does a great job of weaving that in. I also really liked Brie. She felt like a really believable and relatable character. She was really strong. She had a great sense of humor and voice. And I feel like she acted her age, which I think is really important. I also liked just the other characters in the story. And there's a huge cast of characters. I also thought this was great because while Legendborn deals with US history and like historical stuff and racism and such, which are a part of every minority's life, it isn't a pain narrative. It's a black girl going on an adventure, which I think is really important. I think pain narratives have their place but every single book with a minority character doesn't need to be that. Like sometimes they can just have a coming of age magical story. So I really enjoyed Bree's voice. It's really fast paced. Like once I started to read it, I didn't want to put it down. I wanted to find out more. I wanted to get to the bottom of this mystery. And it is a series, but the initial conflict is solved by the end of it, which is always important. I didn't feel like it ended on a cliffhanger, but I did. I want more. Like I want the next legend to come out. This was a great book. I can't wait to get a finished copy of it because this is, you know, the arc, of course. So thank you for watching my video. Like, subscribe, comment. Do you think that you'll get Legendborn? Mm -hmm.